right, guys, how are we doing tonight? Tonight's video is actually going to be an update on a box, and plus it's going to be a little bit of a public service announcement. Um, this is the SX350 box mod that I originally done a video on a few videos back. Um, I had complained about the, uh, the paint and the fact that it didn't have a clear coat, and I actually had my 510 connection mess up on me, so I went ahead and sent it back down to ER Customs and they took really good care of me. Uh, here's the uh, new Fat Daddy 510 connection that they're carrying now, which is really, really excellent. It's got the little grooves there for the airflow. Uh, this pin down here is adjustable. I'm not for sure whether it's gold plated or copper. I'm having a hard time telling in the light. Uh, this thing has been wonderful since I got it back. <laughs> the entire time that it was gone, um, I sent it down and it arrived there on a Monday. Uh, I had it back by that next Friday, which is flipping amazing. I mean, literally, he got it done in that amount of time, and you're talking he went back through and he'd done the box, painted it, clear coated it, replaced the 510, cleaned up a little bit of the inside, which I'm not going to show you tonight. I forgot my screwdriver downstairs uh, before I came up to do the video. But um, I do know that they do have the update out for this now. Um, I guess apparently they pushed it back from a little bit longer from what I said now. Um, it does take it down to where it can do 0.1 ohm. And, and plus it'll take it up another 60 watts. But I do know there has been a little bit of trouble with the update for this. Um, there's some software issues. So if you guys do have an SX350, I would probably wait if you haven't already to go ahead and upgrade until they get the bugs worked out. Um, I know they're in the process right now of trying to get all the kinks worked out of it. And whenever they do, I'll let you guys know. Um, either here or if any of you guys got me on Facebook, I'll let you know there. Um, I'm actually linked to ER Custom Designs on Facebook. So as soon as he knows anything, which he knows deals a lot with the company, you know, he'll let me know because the guy that runs the place, Eppin, is really really cool guy um but i mean he is using the house of paint which is the stuff stuff that they use on cars uh this diamond clear coat i mean it is i cannot just talk about how amazing this stuff is i mean you can feel the texture and i'm not worried at all anymore about these things coming off like they did the last time um i'm gonna go ahead and take a vape on it right now i got it at a 0.11 ohm and she's rocking at about 4.2 volts and I'm at 22.5 watts for those of you guys who haven't tried the magma RDA and that really do love flavor I would very very highly suggest this thing this thing is absolutely beautiful um, why I've actually got you up there there is now no more gap in between my atomizer and my box which I'm very happy about uh, I mean it just looks sleek and smooth all the way down I, I know some people might think this is a little bit big it's not bad I mean I've got fairly big hands and I don't find it as that awkward um, but yeah the atomizer is just flipping amazing on this thing along with the box mod I mean I have not had issue one with it since I got it back um, <laughs> I actually went to screw down this atomizer on it whenever the 510 broke and I mean like most of you guys whenever that happened I was pretty pissed but I mean ER Customs Designs customer service is second to none and I've actually talked to the guy quite a bit in between my last video and whenever I sent my box back super nice super helpful um, if you guys have the chance that you're looking for a box mod I mean I would point you in that direction I do got another box mod coming up in the future of another person that just makes stellar stellar box mods and I mean a very very highly recommended um, they're actually going to be coming from this place right here which is steam engine vaping um, it's up in Decatur um, but whenever that that box mod comes down and I get it reviewed um, it's like I said I know the kid that's making it and the kid does work work that's second to none but um, I mean that's like I said me I'm just giving you companies that I want you guys to go to the best places to get your vaping hardware 
and these are two two people that I've dealt with in Effin and Jade that I mean these guys are just stellar at making their homemade box mods I mean they are making these in shops that they have behind their house and I mean these things are just amazing so <clears throat> beyond that <coughs> one second I'm gonna go ahead and link into um, ER Customs Design or ER, ER Custom Mods down here in the description below. Um, along with that, um, I did say with the update that this thing does go down to 0.1 ohm. This is going to be the public service announcement of this half. Um, please, guys, just because these things say that they do go down to a certain ohm range, I, I wouldn't test the waters that much because I know there has been some of the IVPs melting down. Um, and having severe issues and a lot of it has to do with some of its technical error and some of its you know just because you can push the, lim the limits doesn't mean that you should um, because at the end of the day the FDA and everybody else that's coming in after us vapors they are looking for reasons to take vaping away from us and you know our thing is, is we just don't need to give them the reasons to do it um, that's why I always tell you guys you know use the safest batteries you know make sure that you get your juices put up make sure whenever you're building that you're building within a safe safe range because most of the times like with this box mod 1.1 ohm which is a very very good range for this for this box mod I mean 1.1 ohm is really really good range and I mean higher is even good range even on this vapor vapor shark, which I'm going to be doing on uh, Review on a little bit later. This one's at one one ohm. I mean that is a perfect flavor window In a perfect area for this you don't have to have these super sub ohm builds on Box mods to blow huge clouds. You just got to make the right wrap the right coil and wick it wick it properly. I mean just don't give the FDA and these other people that are coming after us a reason to be able to take vaping away from us because nobody at the end of the day wants that. You know, that's why myself, Rip, you know, Grim Green, that's why all of these guys are always telling you, you know, be safe because this is something that all of us love doing. You know, I love vaping. That's one of the reasons why I started making videos for you guys so I could give you the experiences that I had being a customer like you and you know give you the experience that i had with these places so you can go pick up the best hardware you know the best juices and you know have the proper proper customer service that you guys need to have but anyways i'm not trying to you know bitch moan wait complain or anything else it's just one of those things where you know if we all want to keep vaping it's something that we're going to have to do together and make sure that we are always vaping safe but beyond that, guys, you guys have a good night. Thank you. Please make sure to subscribe.